If once you have slept on an island, you'll never be quite the same. You may look as you looked the day before and go by the same old name. You may bustle around in streets and shop, you may sit at home and see you, but you'll see blue water and wheeling gulls wherever your feet may go. Hi, it's me Himanshu and welcome to my channel Rumble and Curry. Now, why YouTube and what am I doing here? Over the past few years, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to travel many places. So I've decided why not try capturing all of these moments and make it available for everyone so that you can have a glimpse about my life and at the same time see the world along with me. It's my first attempt to make a travel video, so most of the things must have gone wrong. But with time, I'll try to improvise. So without further ado, let's start the first video. Today, let me make you travel along with me to the southern part of Italy. It's a beautiful coastline. And we are traveling from Belgium, where I live. It's a short flight of two and a half hours from Brussels airport to Naples airport. From Maples Airport, there are several ways to reach Amalfi Coast. But as we had a time crunch, we took a taxi straight from the airport to Scala in Amalfi Coast, where we stayed. This is the view from our resort. As you can see, the sunset and the view brings chill in the hot day. And after indulging enough with the scenic view, it was getting late, so we just headed straight for dinner. Now when you are in the coastal area, local fish is a must-have dish, so do try it. This morning sunlight is different and is waiting to tell the story. We have started a day from the resort to Positano, traveling through these winding roads. After reaching Postano, you will suddenly realize the peace it offers. The blue sea, the cliffs, the location, and the sunlight, it's a perfect amalgamation to set a perfect vacation. But this is not a destination for the day. So hold on. Our destination for the day is Capri Island. Positano Boats provides an exclusive group travel with the boat from Positano to Isle of Capri and the package includes stops at the White Grotto, Natural Arc, Fregloni Rocks and Marina Piccola. And this way the sail for the day starts. Reaching Capri from Positano would take approximately two and a half hours of boat ride. While we are cruising through, we spotted this ultra luxury yacht. This is not an ordinary yacht. It is called Super Yacht A. And on an average, it costs you around 400 million dollars.
You may ask us, why did we choose Capri to be our first vacation destination? The answer is simple. Capri is an exceptionally beautiful island, which is located in the Tyrrhenian Sea off the Sorrento Peninsula, of the southern side of the Gulf of Naples. It is known for its dramatic coastline. And yeah, the top things to do in Capri, according to me, are visit the Preclone Rocks, Guardian di Agosta, Marina Piccola, Blue, Green and White Grotto, Marina Grande, the Beach Clubs, Pizza Umbretto, Balverde di Tragara. I know I must have butchered the names but I tried my best. And finally, after two and a half hours of boat ride, we reached Capri Island. We decided not to stop in Capri Beach right away, but take the bus ride to Capri Central. This is around 10 to 15 minutes of bus ride which takes you to the top of the Capri Island. After close to about 10 to 15 minutes of drive, we reach the top of Capri Island. Now this view is honestly jaw dropping. But We'll come back to it later, after walking through these narrow streets. This place is a tourist magnet, and yes, why will it not be? Every lane, every shop in this island is unique and has so much of character. After a few minutes of walk in this hot day through these narrow streets, we finally find a restaurant which is not crowded.
and here is my first actual Napoleon pizza in Italy. It just blows your mind. We came across this very unique gift shop which apparently is about 100 years old. Now guys buckle up, this is why we have come so far, this is the view that Capri Island has to offer. Now let's together view the sea from top of this island. After spending a fair amount of time on top of the island, it was time for us to head back to the beach. So we took a bus again from central of Capri Island back to the beach. And the beach. There is nothing else to say about it. Capri has done a great job. Capri Beach has both public and private sections, so this is the public section. Uh, you can just bring a towel, have fun, bask in the sun. But we did not have time because we had spent a lot of extra time on top of Capri Island. So the beach is for some other time. Our boat has arrived and it's time to say bye to Capri Island and head back to Positano. But on the way, we see Ferrogloni rocks. It is the most picture perfect place. And at this moment, you just want to hold on the time and want to be here forever. So 
So far if you've enjoyed the video and if you're still watching this video, hitting the subscribe button will be very supportive. And of course, if you like the video, then hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Clicking on the bell icon will notify you when my next video is coming. So why not just click it? With the champagne, we ended up boat tour, and the day has come to its end. And so is the video. Hope to see you all in my next video.